I won't speak for long because it's probably a good thing that trees are deaf because they wouldn't probably be able to hear what we're saying over the din that there is around here. But I think that's what this demonstrates. And I want to say that everybody here who's played a part, Boris really appreciates what you're doing because the hardest thing to do in London is get one of those slabs up and plant one of these trees here. And we haven't just planted one, we're planting, I can see, I can see the others here, I think 52 along here. Yeah, all the trees, yes. But we've achieved nine and a half thousand street trees being planted in the last three years. Boris wanted to achieve 10,000, we will definitely get there with the kind of efforts that we're seeing being put in here. And the question is why? Why are we doing this? Now you'll hear Boris talk about putting the village back into London. London was a series of villages. We love our green spaces. We love living in this city because of the green spaces. But trees are integral to that. And they protect us, they shelter us. And quite literally, they will clean the air for us. They will dampen the noise for us. They will do so much for us silently. And that's why we do believe that we want to see the tree canopy increase from 20% that we have currently in this city to 25%. Initiatives like this will make it happen. Working with organisations like W1W and the Woodland Trust and Street Trees and the teams that are all coming together under the banner of Relief to make this happen, it is essential. This isn't a nice to have. And that's why when the Mayor recently asked me to undertake the portfolio for the environment, it wasn't just because he said, you know, I want to see this happen. It, it was because he knew that I'm quite hard-nosed and I focus on delivery. But delivery of things that matter to Londoners. This matters. It's amazing to see you all here and some of the kids from the local schools I see. Where are you from? St. Marlebone. St. Marlebone. Well, the key thing to see school kids here is because these trees will long outlive us and probably you and generations to come. I was, as I was looking up and down the street, I wanted to see, imagine what this street will look like when these trees are 50 years old because they will still be here. I'm not sure if they'll still be growing pears, but they will still be here. So thank you very much for everything that everyone is doing to help us deliver this today. I know this is also now being integ integrated into what the mayor wants to see also happening in London, which is more voluntary activity. And part of his key program, Team London, we're going to bring together tree planting and we're giving away free packs to volunteers to help deliver even more trees. And what's the magic number? I think, as Lisa has told me, it's 45,000. That's how many trees we think we can plant in the four year term of this mayor. And maybe in a second term, we can plant even more, but that's another story. So thank you very much for all your help. We really do appreciate it. Boris really does appreciate this. You'll hear him talk about this endlessly because I will talk to him about this endlessly and I'm really proud to be here today to help plant this tree. Boris and I, we sat down actually about four years ago and spoke about what his view of London was. He really did say, you know, I just want it to look and feel better. He quickly said after that, I want the tube to run better. But, you know, his first thought was, I want it to look and feel better. And as personally, I grew up in West London, in Hounslow, in Osterley. Now, I was literally living on the A40, no, not the A4, the A4, Great West Road, you know, literally a mile or two from Heathrow Airport, um, 10 miles from central London, but I was very lucky. I lived right on Osterley Park, and where I was, even with all those aeroplanes flying overhead, even with all those cars going by, the park protected me. And it was the park, the green space, the trees. And I grew up valuing that. And to me, it's as important that we protect and we encourage continued growth and appreciation of our green spaces. And that's why when we see also the younger generation, those schoolgirls who were there today, their appreciation in this, and I have to say, I do also look after digital. But in this digital world where most people will use apps and computers and never really go outside and stay inside and play computer games. If we can bring some kind of excitement back 
into what it means to green London, to plant trees, what it does for us, how it changes the look and feel, how it makes our city feel like a village, not just this heaving concrete mass. That's very important. And that's what Boris's vision is. It is about putting the village back into our city.